Mother Earth lay besieged by Prometheus. The remnants of the Imperial forces on Mars could do nothing to help her. Then Harabic proposed an alliance, rebels and empire, for the good of all humankind. Kynan and his knights deliberated and agreed. Yet even a united Mars was not strong enough to rout the Cybrids. This human alliance would fight its way to Saturn, a planet safely beyond the Cybrid invasion. There, in a desperate attempt at survival, they would prepare a human life raft, the mysterious Diasarai Contingent. Meanwhile, a suicide squad of volunteers flew towards Venus, a planet on the brink of collapse. Their mission? Find and evacuate the survivors of the Cybrid onslaught. The Diasarai contingent was a human life raft, pure and simple. A collection of ships designed to traverse the endless wastes of empty space. The majority of passengers would travel cryogenically frozen. Only a small family of pilots would remain awake during the long voyage, which would likely last a thousand years. Of course, the majority of the human alliance had to remain on Titan, awaiting the Cybrid arrival. All they could hope for was that their death in battle would ensure the safe launch of the Diasarai. Heroes, all of them. At last, the Diasarai contingent was on its way. Good luck and gold speed. It was only a matter of time before the Cybrids overran Titan. Then, in a miracle, the Emperor himself contacted the Alliance. The message was broken, but one thing came through. Prometheus was on Pluto. Harabic became a man possessed, refusing to die defending empty barren rock. He chose to attack the dark intellect itself. Kynan, however, remained on Titan. He would fight the oncoming Cybrids to the end, to give his brother a better chance to reach Pluto and Prometheus. <laughs>